Who is the girl behind the mask? It was me all along. Today I have two gacha movies all about hiding your face, like I just did. Did you know that 69% of people who watch my videos aren't subscribed? If you happen to be one of those people who aren't subscribed to my channel, oh, I am offended. Make sure to hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so that you get an alert when I upload. It's free and it really helps me out, so I'm gonna give you some time to do that. That should have been enough time, and without further ado, let's get into these mini-movies. Is something wrong, dear? No, ma'am, it's just your daughter is very beautiful. Thank you very much, dear. She's so freaking beautiful. Your daughter is very beautiful, ma'am. That's the second time today. Thank you, sweetie. Everybody loves this baby. Well, I should start working again. I shall do the same thing. Bye-bye, girl. Everybody's going off to work. She's kissing the baby on the head. Goodbye. A few years later. Oh my, she is all grown up now. Mother, is it all right if I can go to the park today? Of course we can go. What happened to the woman in the background? Why is she on the floor? Is she okay? Is she dead? All righty, Anna, we're going to the park. Please take care. Oh, she's come back alive. She's fine. All right, go have fun. I'll be sitting over there. And don't be mean to the other kids. Okay, mother. Oh my goodness. Look at what she's playing with. Why are they so adorable? Whoa, she's so beautiful. Much more beautiful than me. I don't like that. Oh my, we have a jealous child. I have a bad feeling about this. Oh, hey, stop that. That's not nice. I don't listen to people like you. Oh my goodness. After explaining, no worries, mom. It wasn't your fault. I'll take care of her. Oh gosh, I'm such a horrible mother. Are you sure you want to wear that for school today? Yes, mother. Okay then, have a nice day, dear. Thank you, mother. Okay, class, please be quiet for a minute and welcome our new student. Oh my goodness, she's wearing an actual bag on her head. She's like one of the most beautiful gacha characters, apparently, and now she's resorted to bagging herself. Do you want to maybe introduce yourself or take off the bag? No, sir, but thank you. Okay then go and take a seat over there. I love how the teacher is accepting of this because you don't know what battles people are facing. She probably has really low self-esteem issues after what happened at the park. Such a respectful and kind girl. Here she is taking her seat. But I have a bad feeling about the boy who sat next to her. He's probably wondering why she's wearing a bag. He's probably not so accepting of it. A new student? Gosh darn it. Oh, here she is with the bag on her head. Hey, new girl, I wanted to chat with you for a bit. How rude of me. Sorry, sir. What were you going to tell me? Oh, maybe I was wrong. Maybe he's being nice, but oh my goodness, the girl has just crashed into him. Um, are you guys okay? Why does she have the crazy eyes? Oh my gosh, she's hugging her. What is going on? And this guy's angry now. Um, excuse me. Are you guys just gonna pretend that nothing happened? Oh, I understand why he's mad. He got knocked to the ground and they're just hugging? We're your new friends, new girl. Oh, thank you so much. Wow, this just goes to show you should never judge a book by its cover because I thought he was going to be evil and he wasn't. He was actually quite sweet. He wanted to be friends. But I don't know about this girl. He looks a little bit evil. What is going on here? I can feel some tension. I'm sorry, it wasn't meant for you. Oh, dear. Being chased. This school is quite dramatic. Okay, here we are in the corridor with old Baghead. feel like this girl here with the water bottle has some kind of plan and it's to spill the water all over Baghead. But is she gonna succeed? No, because Baghead has dipped down. Now the water has been poured all over that poor guy. Oh my! She hit the wrong target. That is very awkward, isn't it? After some months of trying to get revenge, Josie finally got it. I'm sorry, did I do something? I I don't like you. You stole my friends. Maybe she didn't steal her friends. Maybe her friends decided not to be her friend anymore because she's evil. Because that does happen. Hey, Ahiko. He is not impressed. Now look what you've done. You've made a fool of yourself. Are you okay? What do you think, genius? Um, are you okay? Yes, thank you. 
Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry I couldn't be there to help you. It's okay, he helps me. Are you sure? Yes, indeed I am. Oh my goodness, this poor little baghead is being swept across school by multiple people. I have named her Baghead because we still don't know her name and we're like five minutes into this story. What the heck is wrong with you? What is going on in this school? Why is there so much drama? No wonder she's wearing a bag on her head. Why did you lock the door? What is going on now? She's being locked inside of the bathroom. You're scared me. Please show me your face. It's been months. I'll still be your friend if you're ugly or even if you're too pretty. Her friend is begging for a face reveal. Honestly, me, when there's a YouTuber who doesn't reveal their face, like, come on, I'm desperate. I just want to see it. Who are you under the mask? No. Oh, she got denied. Please. A couple of minutes later. Fine. Oh my goodness, she's actually going to do it. She's going to take off the bag. The bag has been removed. And her friend cannot believe her eyes. She is flustered. She can't get over how beautiful she is. Please, could you stop staring at me? It's so creepy. I am so sorry to bother you, but I wanted to invite you to a party that I'm having today. It's an apology one. I'm very sorry. I hurt all three of you guys, and I really mean it. We stand an apology. It takes a very big person to say sorry. And maybe she's changed. Can I please see the invitation? Here. It's specially for you three. Oh, I really hope it's not a trick and that she's actually sorry. Sorry. So are you guys gonna go? I'm gonna pass on this one. Same here. So I'm gonna go by myself then? Fine, I'll go with you. Oi, I said I'll go with her first. No, I did. Okay, good. At least her friends are coming now because if she was left to go on her own, that could be terrible. Imagine if it was a setup. How was school today? Mother, is it okay if I could go to a party today with some of my friends? Of course you can go, sweetie. You've finally made some friends at last. What time are you coming back? though around 10 11 30 ish on a school night girl you're gonna be exhausted okay then all right it's party time boo you look so pretty but she's still wearing the bag girl take it off let's go dance she's dancing with a bag on her head we love to see it a couple of minutes later oh why is she crying hey oh hello i want you to go up over there in a bit why just go that's a bit sus why though later she's gone on up. But what's gonna happen? What do I do now? She has taken off the bag and revealed her face to everybody at the party. How could she do that? Oh no, she is bagless. Here's mom chilling at home when all of a sudden her daughter runs in in absolute tears. I want to transfer schools. What? Why? What about your friends? They know how ugly I look now. Honey, how many times have I told you that you're not ugly? You're very beautiful. You know I hate it when you lie. I'm not lying sweetie you are beautiful your nurse and the other adults told you so when you were a kid everybody was literally like oh my goodness she's gorgeous but they stopped because you got so insecure then why does everybody hate me because they're just jealous of you let's see what happens at school tomorrow if it doesn't go well then i'll see what i can do all right it's another day at school time for some learning and she's got the bag back on even though everybody knows what she looks like it's not the teachers it's you that's dumb Oh, we love a supportive friendship. Right, Akemi? Oh, um, yeah. See? I'm so, so sorry. I mean it this time. Okay, this girl is not to be trusted. She already said sorry, and I was like, wow, takes a big person to apologize? But actually, she was a liar and a fraud. Sorry, but I can't forgive you. Please forgive me. I'm sorry. I really mean it this time. Okay, fine. But just please get up and stop crying. We don't forgive her. She's evil. Thank you. I wanted to ask you something. What were you gonna tell me? Why do you still wear that bag if we all know what you look like already? That is a valid question. Everybody already knows. I still think I look ugly. Well, in my opinion, I think that you looked beautiful. Oh, he's so sweet. You want me to take the bag off, don't you? Yes, please. Fine. Just because you already know what I look like. Oh my goodness, she's got the confidence to remove it. See, what did I tell you? You look beautiful. She really does. She's incredibly cute. Thank you very much. Oh no, look who it is. Listen, and getting jealous. <laughs> you should show your face more often. I'll try. Hey guys, finally, you're back from that meanie. Wait, why is that meanie still with you? I can hear you, you freaking brat. Yeah? You're supposed to hear me. And why are you showing your face? Because he told me I should show my face more often. He gave her the confidence. Well, 
he's not wrong, but people are gonna steal you from me. And that's all she cares about. What a great friend. Time for the second story. Why am I not allowed to be friends with anyone? Mum and dad always keep me locked here at home. I really want to leave this place. I hate it here and I want to run away. Mum and dad will be leaving to go on a mission. I can run away after they leave this place. Although the guard that my dad has hired might stop me. I'm still strong either way. I should be careful when thinking about my plan because my mum usually watches me from the shadows. For now, I'll just act like I usually act so that they don't get suspicious of me before they leave. This girl is planning an escape and she's serious about it. I'm special, they say. I'm born to be a hunter, they say. And if I made any friends they would just drag me down they say tomorrow will definitely be the first step i take to a new life i shouldn't waste this chance or else i might never be able to get out of this place this is tansy her parents taught her all about hunting and trained her since she was four years old hunting what though that's what i want to know she's 12 years old now and she's definitely stronger than most hunters out there what are they hunting you may be asking hunters are people who hunt dangerous people oh my that is truly shocking i thought it was going to be animals not people someone that could ruin an innocent human life is who they hunt but for tansy's parents it's more like they're assassins instead of a hunter because her family gets paid in exchange to kill certain people the last story was dramatic because it was set in a school but this is dramatic because it's set all about assassins but tansy is tired of that she doesn't want to become an assassin or a hunter at all she wants to do something else in this life but her parents won't accept that which is why she has decided to run away which is why she's running away tansy your papa and i will be going out today for a mission so be a good girl for mama okay you don't have any missions to do today so don't even try going out you should train instead of playing when we get back show me what you've learned mama loves you and i'll see you in a few days okay i'll ask mr slide to take me to the training room and also do not in. Leah, we need to get moving. Yes, dear. I'm just telling Tansy how much I love her. Well then, you heard your father. It won't be easy, so we'll see you in a few days. I shouldn't leave immediately. No, that would raise too much suspicion. I should let their guard down, and then that's where I'll leave. It's been two days. That's enough time. Right now, Mr. Sly isn't watching me anymore. This is the perfect chance, as he's let his guard down for today. It's time to escape. Ha! It's really difficult to leave this mansion. This place is guarded with security cameras, but there will always be a blind spot. Now, Mr. Sly is gone, and so is she. Yes, I'm out. I feel really good right now. I don't plan on ever coming back. If I did, I'll never be able to go out again. What do I do now? I did steal some money, but I still don't know what I want to do in life. I mean, she is only 12. That's quite a big decision for a 12 year old to make. And also, where is she going to live? What is she going to do? But I don't want to live as an assassin. Someone's here. I should have sensed that person minutes ago. Right now, they're really close. But where? Wait, don't tell me. Above! Oh gosh, are they going to fall out the sky? Yeah. They are. Little girl, what are you doing here? Who are you? And what do you want? Whoa, calm down. I'm just here to help you. Were you wandering around and you got lost? You shouldn't be out here. It's dangerous, you know? Oh my, it's the girl with the mask. I know that already. Tell me where you live and I'll take you there. It's turning dark soon and bringing me home won't be much help. That'll just make me more in danger. So you ran away, I'm guessing? Correct. Anyways, I'll be going now. I can take you to my place. Never trust a stranger. Stranger danger. Especially never trust a stranger that jumps out of a tree wearing a mask. You can stay there as long as you want. Huh? Why? Are you planning to kill me? If I did, I would have already done so. Listen, if you don't want to, I'll leave you alone, all right? Just trying to help you. So where is it? Follow me then. So why did you help me? You remind me of myself when I was little. Oh my goodness, face reveal. And she's actually so cute. I love her eyes. They've got little hearts in them. You see, I also ran away. I ran away from my village because they thought of me as a monster. Why? You don't even look scary. Ha ha ha. Because you haven't seen me in action yet. I'm Giaida, by the way. 
Tansy, and I'm 12 years old. Well, make yourself at home. I'll be going out. And also, don't start getting touchy around here. I may have let you stay, but don't touch anything other than the things in the guest room. Anyways, I'll see you later tonight. Whoa, she disappeared quick. She looks really strong. Well, I'm lucky that I met someone nice like her. She's still not back yet. I wonder what she's doing. Dan, those assassins again. I wonder if her parents are hunting this girl in the mask. That would make sense. And that would be such a plot twist. Giaida, did something happen? You look rough. Kids should be sleeping at this time. Go to bed. It's your nappy time, isn't it? Not five anymore, I'm 12. Sounds the same to me. What the heck? Why is she so rude? A month has passed and Tansy has gotten closer with Giaida. Probably closer than her parents. She thinks of Gaida as a big sister. Meanwhile, her parents are freaking out, wondering where she is. Gaida, do you have a job? Does she go out every night? Oh, some assassins are looking for me, since I'm wanted for a million dollars. Wanted for a million? You see, behind my mask is a hunter that can use a power. As you can see right now. Whoa, what the heck? Gaida is magical. Gaida is a magician. Whoa, that's really cool. Leah is the assassin that won't stop looking for me. We had a bad past, so... Wait a second, Leah is her mother, and she's after Gaida. I knew it. Leah, that's my mom. Leah Lawrence? Yes. Poop, then we need to move out. No wonder why she's been so annoyed. She lost her daughter. Hurry and pack up. Your mum knows the town that I live in. And if she finds my place, I'll be dead and she'll take you back. Gaida, who? I finally found you. There's no point in fighting me, Leah. Because you're weak. And I didn't want to use this, but I had to. This spell, it pierces your heart. If you agree to my terms, you won't die. One, stop looking for me. And two, leave Tansy alone. If I ever see you trying to take her away, you are dead. Okay. I agree. Then leave this place. Oh, she's gone. Gaida, thank you. You're like a big sister that I never had. Thanks to you, I know what having a friend and a sister feels like. Please adopt me. Haha, <laughs> sure, Tansy. We won't be bothered anymore. Her mum really gave up that easily. She was like, okay, I'm gonna leave. I don't wanna die. Bye. Peace out. And you can live the way that you want without any problems like your parents. Thank you, Gaida. Aw, they're so cute together. What a wild ride. If you enjoyed these stories, and you want to see some more from me, you can click on one of these and I'll see you over there.